Well, here we are, fans. We are in Northport, Florida. It's been a while since our last video, and the grass is growing, everything's green, and we have Cole's Triumph TR6 torn apart, as you can see here. The head is off of it, and we are down to the block. And we've managed to get some things done and discover some new things that we didn't know about. So we're going to talk about what is going on with this overheating issue. Finally discovered what it was. Here we go. All right, folks, here we are with the master technician, TR6 all, TR4, TR3, ladies and gentlemen, Fred Schmidt. Hello there. So Fred, we got good news and bad news. Let's start with the good news today. What's the good news? The good news is we got the head back from the machine shop. It's all been done. All these water ports were completely plugged solid. You can see here on the head, on the head gasket, that spot right there, that, those were water those ports all, that I, there's still, still rust on there. There's still rust on there. So wow. Yeah. Wow. And that's what was on there. And how did they get the rust out of the ports? What did they do? Um, this particular head, they, they cooked it in the oven for 2,000 degrees for eight hours. Holy shit. And they turned all the, uh, all the debris in the water ports into ash. And then they scraped it all out with wire brushes and everything and cleaned the head out real nice and then hot tanked it to water um, to clean it further. And then it was, um, then it was cut shaved a little bit, not not to alter the compression or anything, but just to make it sure that it's flat. Nice and smooth, yeah. And then they went ahead and they, they did a valve job on it, checked all the springs, and put everything back together again. Looks brand new, Fred. Plus, yeah. I see you put a little coat of paint on there, which looks yeah. really sharp. Yeah. It, was, it so, was a good deal. It about, it's 500 bucks, typically, is what you get into. Yep, Cole brought his nickels, dimes, quarters, and $100 <laughs> bills. So, Fred, um, before we talk about the bad news, um, we discovered that this was the overheating issue. It turns out that the ports were clogged. Right. Not all of them were clogged, but most of them were. And we also discovered this morning on the next video, we'll talk about why we were getting that crappy gunk coming out of the overflow tank. Yes, basically we're dealing with an engine that sat with water in it for like 30 years or whatever. And of course the corrosion within it some of it broke loose when we were using uh, flushes, and mm -hmm. we got a lot of it out. But when we were, when it was, the water ports were packed in here. Of course, there was no flow, and you were getting some. You could only drive the car for a mile, mm -hmm. and it would spit. Right. So that, and we just couldn't get that out as much as we tried, and we had to get to this part. Now, the block is open and we're pulling core plugs out of the block and we're going to make an attempt there's there's still some rust and debris laying at the bottom of the water jacket right um but it's not very thick and it's all loose from being washed so we're basically so, going to try to suck it and float it out of there yeah and then we're going to use compressed air later on um this coming week compressed air and blow all those things out because the last thing we want to do is have to pull the block out. Well, I'm not going to put it all back together again and have to have to go through it all. Right, exactly. You know? Cool. But, you know, and we're trying to do this because, quite frankly, the car ran well, had good compression. It didn't smoke. And, you know, to take it all apart, to, to clean up the block, when you get to that point, then you might as well do the motor. And I don't, we're not, we're not there. So yeah, we don't need to do that. We don't yeah. need to do that. I mean, if it had been smoking or low compression or things of that nature. No, we didn't have any of that. We didn't have any of that so. Beautiful. Well, let's uh, get our adapter ready and let's start sucking and blowing, baby. Woohoo! Sucking it out. Good. Oh, yeah. Let me see. 
Oh, uh, it's way better. Way better. All right, so Dave, what do we do now? What we just uh, took took the shop back, and what did we do? Well, now I'm just filled up with water. See if you can get some of that sediment to flush out. Yep, we got a bunch of the rust out. I could, it was able to stick my finger down into that port on all or three of the four of them, and I was able to uh, suck out all the rust that we found. I don't know if you can see inside of there; it's still a little rusty. But now what we're going to do is we're going to take a garden hose and see if we can float anything we couldn't get to, float that out. And then from there, use a, uh, some compressed air to see if we can also blow anything that's in there out. So, think it's going to work, Dave? Yeah. 